with all things trucking. Now let's get rolling. All right. Hey, welcome to another edition of the Lead Pedal Podcast. This is episode number 986, and it's a Turn Back Tuesday. You know what that means. All right, folks. Turn back the clocks. Clean up the spokes. This is another edition of Turn Back Tuesdays with your host, Bruce Out. All right. And today, of course, we're our Turn Back Tuesday today is tanker trucks. When was the first tanker truck? We see them all the time. They deliver food to everywhere we go. When was the first one? Well, we're going to tell you all about it right after this. So uh, stay tuned. Hey folks, are you an owner or operator looking for a place to call home? Well, RIMS Transport is based out of Hamilton, Ontario. And that's right, they are a place, owner operator fleet only. They run flatbed out of uh, Hamilton and they don't run much more than five to 700 mile radius. So if you're looking for a place that you can get back home on a regular basis, you can get good miles, they have a great culture for owner operators and they want you to succeed, then RIMS Transport is the place to do that. Where can you learn more? Go to RIMSTransport.com. Make sure you tell them that the Pedal Podcast sent you and we want you to be successful. We know them personally over there, and we know they're going to take good care of you. you got open board, you've got uh, tandem US, you've got uh, multi-axle US, you got city, you got all kinds of positions available there, all owner-operator fleet. So if you want to be successful for 2023 and beyond, then get on with Ribs Transport and tell them we sent you. All right, everybody, talk to you later. Go to ribstransport.com. All right, so when was the first tanker truck uh, when did the first tanker truck come into existence? Well, I got to tell you that, uh, <laughs> it, well, you know, and you know what a tanker truck is. I'm, I'm assuming everybody knows, but a, a big tank. We have we have dry tanks. We have liquid tanks. So uh, the first ones actually started out uh, to be gas trucks, fuel trucks, tanker trucks. Uh, British English is a motor vehicle designed to carry liquids or gases. So, right, so that's what they say that it is. Uh, railroad, of course, have tank cars as well. So there's pressurized, insulated, non-insulated, uh, and uh, of course they're all um, they're all they all do their thing. Uh, back to the history of it. Prior to the tanks, though, oil was delivered in cans. <laughs> were cans uh, from the 80s, it was distributed in horse-drawn tanks. So they had little tanks, horse-drawn uh, tanks on there for sure. Uh, and then... Uh they started using motor tankers in 1910 uh, when Anglo-American oil introduced underground tanks and delivery tanks to the UK in 1920. Uh, took over an oil tanker company in 1921 and soon had a 1,000 imperial gallon tank, which is 4,500 liters or 1,200 US gallons. Uh, tankers with, uh, now they come in 36, they came in 3,600 imperial gallons and by the mid-30s, uh, they were up to 4,300 US gallons. Elsewhere, development was slower. For example, the first petrol tank tanker, uh, which was 200 imperial gallons, uh, was from Auckland to arrive in Hamilton, uh, New Zealand, was greeted by a brass band in 1927. Shell had a great one here. Uh, Shell had a tanker truck in 1926, which was pretty cool. It was a little uh, little tanker truck with a little tank on the back. Um, so tank trucks have uh, uh, increased in size and capacity, and uh, nowadays they range anywhere from uh, 10,000 to 20,000 um, gallons, uh, and it's uh, distinguished by its shape, usually cylindrical, uh, tank upon lying uh, horizontally some have less visible distinctions but everybody kind of knows what they are so uh, now they've got common, lar- common uh, large tanks are used for gasoline diesel liquefied petroleum natural gas filling stations um, liquid sugar molasses milk food water industrial chemicals all of that is all part of common tanks that we will see and uh, there's a variety of shapes sizes and uses out there for sure so there you go if you're wondering where the tank industry started from I just wanted to let you know it started <laughs> it started right right there where, where we just said it started back in uh, in 1910 or whatever um, so many tanks <laughs> Hey, everybody, you heard of uh, Rosedale Transport. Well, you know, they've got tons of opportunities for you, no matter what you want to do. You know what? It doesn't matter what terminal, because they have terminals all across North America, and they are looking for owner-operators, truck drivers, and other team members that might be uh, of interest. The best way to find out all the information about Rosedale, the history of a 50-year company that's stable and rock-solid in the industry, is to go to rosedalegroup.com. That's right. Just go to rosedalegroup.com, and you can see all the opportunities. Look under the Careers tab. You'll see what's available. You'll see they've got 800 employees, 2,500 happy clients, 15 offices, and 50 years of trust. And when you get there and you talk to them and you say, hey, you know what? I want to be part of your team. Make sure you tell them that you heard about it from the Lead Pedal Podcast.
podcast. All right, rosedalegroup.com. Tell them we sent you. All right, now tell them we sent you because we'd love for them to know that. Hey, anyway, uh, there you go. There's the tank industry. Always uh, good to get a little history of where we came from, why we started, all that kind of stuff. Hey, make sure you follow us on our socials, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. You can find me on LinkedIn, and you can also find us on YouTube, which I remember. And don't forget to uh, download our app. We've got our Lead Pedal Radios moved to Mixcloud.com, so make sure you stay there with us. All right, my friends, talk to you later. Be safe out there, and if you're driving a tank, don't be a tanker anchor. <laughs> talk to you later.